Pagona reminds me of my childhood. It was so much fun to eat Pagona after school and I love to choose the shape for my Pagona. Today, we're going to make Pagona with simple ingredients. I'll give you some easy tips to cook the best homemade Dalgona without using the kit. We need 100 grams of white sugar, 50 grams of water, and 5 grams of baking soda. This is a press for hot dog Korean pancake, and we'll be using this to press the Dalgona. You may use anything that is heat safe, round and flat. Prepare a small thick bottom pot. And we'll also need a spatula. Let's add sugar to the pot. The process of making wet caramelized sugar is very simple. Sugar is combined with water and heat it. Now, we're going to bring it to a boil without stirring. Cook it until the sugar is completely saturated and begins to dissolve. Keep boiling until the thermometer reaches to 170 degrees Celsius or about 340 Fahrenheit. If you don't have thermometer, boil it until it turns a bit yellow. Then remove the pot from the heat and stir in baking soda and mix it dynamically. Keep stirring quickly about 30 seconds and it will double in volume. Then place the Dalgona dough on prepared baking paper or parchment paper. Let's make it a little bigger than a donut. Dalgona is very sensitive on heat. That is why traditionally they make it for one portion. This recipe makes three dalgonas. We need to wait for about one minute until surface harden a little bit. If dalgona doesn't stick to skewer and it's still warm, then it's time to press it. Okay, let's quickly press it. Otherwise, it's gonna solidify. One, two, And three. Oh, it worked! Now we want to make a shape using a skewer. You need to do this in a short time. Again, press it. If you have a cookie press, it's great to shape Dalgona. I'm using the heart shape, press, done. Making Dalgona is all about timing. You shouldn't press it too soon, either too late. After pouring the sugar mixture, wait for about one minute, and then press with a press and immediately shape it. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with hard sugar candy. I want to make something that can be shaped using a skewer. How about waffle shape? It would be impossible to pull out this shape, but why not? Let's be creative. If you press with a press before the surface of Dalgona hardens a little, it will fail like this. I love this sweet caramel scent. We've got three homemade Dalgona. If you're not using a stick, small knife could be a great substitute. Use the back of the knife to give it a shape. This is my second batch. If you want your dalgona to be lighter, remove the pot from the heat when the sugar water just starts to change color to yellow. Then stir it and add baking soda to it. The 
Making dalgona successfully might be harder than cutting them into shape. The ingredients are quite simple. It's just sugar and baking soda, and we use a little bit of water. The key is to control the heat and find the perfect timing for a few processes. Good luck with your dalgona.